Hello guys, good day to all of you here. I intentionally make this video because I just want to share to you my ex my experience before when I was studying in my college time. So this kind of experience must also be a motivation to those who want to be successful in their study. Okay, so first this was my experience um, before uh, year 2009. I graduated my uh, secondary level 2009 and I was uh, luckily enough because I had uh, given a chance to have a scholarship, full scholarship granted from my school. So uh, that was 100%. And I used to study in a uh, university in which is now vice so uh, i choose education and with a major in mathematics that time and uh, because i don't want to be a burden of my parents so i choose to work while studying so i became a working student that time in a family so i will not mention the name of that family so during that time i am so diligent in my study and i experienced before that uh, my boss will just give me an allowance of 10 pesos in a day, including the uh, fare for the motorcycle. So I use 10 pesos. So, and he uh, urged me to sell something like, somewhat like small business. And because I realized that uh, I have no uh, charism in speaking so um what i did is uh, i did not pursue to what he offers he offered so during that time uh, i have a cousin that he is working he was working in the chicken uh like chicken fried chicken and uh, he was a uh, cook there so i convinced him to if ever i could have uh, have a discount if I will sell chicken to just university. So that's what I did. So my uh, skills in uh, like business, it's it started from there. So uh, uh, unfortunately, I did not able to finish during that time because uh, my parents uh, asked me if could I stop studying because uh, they need my financial support because during that time uh, we are all we are all nine siblings in the family and I am the second from the eldest and my elder sister got married already so uh, they have no choice but me to keep their financial support so from then uh, though it's sad to say that uh, we think Quitting is not the solution, but I have no choice because uh, I cannot guarantee any help from my relatives during that time, even single food. So, uh, I have no choice but to sacrifice my study. So, I stopped during that time. That was 2009, and I choose to work in uh, family and now they are the owner in the B resort. So, uh, yes, I used to work there as a housemaid for over almost two years. And then I realized that um, working forever as housemaid is not my uh, dream. So, uh, and also I got trained and uh, because every month uh, I was only having a salary of 1000 800 pesos then uh, all day I will work like uh, I spent sleeping for just six hours and for the rest of 18 hours I worked so and the whole of my salary will just go to my family so I get tired during the time that I was drained so I realized that I need more space to my life and I decided to uh, join a congregation of religious orders and uh, in the Missionary Institute of St. Louis. So I work, uh, I served there, uh, there in the convent. I 
I was in the convent for over five years, five years and a half. Yes, and I used to be one of them. So, but then I realized that uh, it's not yet my calling. So it said they said that many are called, but few are chosen. And yes, I was called to serve uh, God, but in some other way and i was not uh called to be fully like consecrated one so i quit there and undecided to continue on my study and fortunately for the last time of that so there was a bigger opportunity for me and i'm so happy because uh, my neighbor and this neighbor is uh owing me uh uh, owing me the best opportunity for me because she wanted me to uh, go to college and she will pay for the expenses there unless uh, there is a uh, consequence or conditions conditions so i have to be a tutor of their five children uh four children that time and i will assess her needs in school so there i i used to give my service from her for six months and uh i quit because uh but still i continue with my study but i quit to her because uh, i met an accident during that time because every day i will go home and travel through motorcycle going to the remote areas where i live and there uh, she she used to understand my decision and and luckily he had a sister and offer there uh, offered me uh, a chance to continue and they will the want to pay my uh, expenses in school and uh, the next year I I asked her husband if could uh, if I could I if I could apply as a scholar one of the scholar that could be granted in each barangay and luckily i was one so uh, i grabbed the opportunity and also during that time every day every day of my uh, study i used to uh, give time of tutoring for one hour and uh, one hour and then uh, that one hour is paid for uh 100 pesos uh, no, 50 pesos in one hour at that time. So, uh, in, uh, since there are two, so uh, in that I can have weekly uh, 500 pesos weekly. And with that, I, I realized that. So, during that time, uh, I, I used that money in expensing my uh, photocopy, my projects. And also, I made some uh, peanut brittle as my a small business. So it also helped me in my uh, daily expense for my schools. So the time I used to uh, my knowledge in tutoring kids or students. So uh, and also I built trust to parents also. And every summer, their uh, parents contacted me to give tutor to their children, and I never wasted that, that opportunity. So every summer, I had students for like eight students in summer. And every day, uh, per student, I used to have uh, 30 pesos that time. So eight students, so 30 pesos, 240 uh, in a day then that was every day uh, including sunday so that time i made sacrifices until uh, i reached uh, i reach third year of my college and uh, during that time my school my institution in trinidad uh, municipal college is uh, offering free tuition and i was the also one of the first time being granted to that uh, great opportunity so it's, it continued and until uh, fourth year of my college, uh, study. So I used to graduate uh, with, uh, with, with many graces. Why? Because uh, there's, there are many opportunities and chances that came to my life during that time. And I can say that God blessed that time.
uh, I can I can really feel difficulty, but with my effort and with my determination to finish my study, I never give up. Okay, I never give up, and still I continue. So um, my point uh, to you on this is uh, to those. Uh, who are aiming to be successful in their study. So I have uh, this message for you. So even you will encounter hardships, difficulties in terms of financial needs. So be strategic. Okay, what do I mean with that? So you have to find strategy. You just you don't need to depend always to your parents. You don't need always to depend on someone. But you have to work on it, okay? You can deal with your own selves by building trust to other people, like what I did, okay? So then uh, also, I never quit, okay? I never quit. So so you, I, I challenge you, do not quit on difficulty, okay? Because that difficulty, that problems will lead you to a greater success in the future. And for me, though I'm not, I cannot say that I am a, I get, I am on the state of success, but still I'm on the line of success, and um, I'm hoping someday I can be one of the person that I am dreaming for. But right now I'm still uh, living. I'm still doing what I am and what is right. Okay, so maybe someday there are also another opportunity for me to find a career that I wanted to be. Okay.